Hey YouTube subscriber, David is here. Uh, I want to talk to you today about the heat core on the W220s. So as you can see, obviously you can see that the whole uh, dashboard and everything is out on this car. But uh, don't worry, I don't have to put it back in because <laughs> I'm parting out this car. But if you ever have a heat core issues on the W220, um, I would say part out the car. <laughs> If you knew how much work it is to uh, get to a point where you have the dashboard and uh, everything else out, it's probably a good uh, in between taking it out and putting it back in, I would say not less than 10 hours job. Um, but I wanted to give you a heads up, so hang tight with me, I'll show you where the heat core is. I'm going to come back from the other side, it's easier to get there. Alright, we're going to the other side and everything is out here. Now oh, I'm going to go inside the car. Now, I want you to look after you take the dashboard out, which is a project by itself. The dashboard doesn't have too many screws or bolts that are holding it together. Let me get out of the light so you can see. All right, the dashboard doesn't have too many uh, bolts that are holding it together. I think you got uh, this is one of them right here. There are more, two more on the bottom here, two more on the bottom there, and another one on the other side. And the one to get to this one here, you have to move. Uh, Let's see if I can find it somewhere here. No, I can't find it. But there is a cover on the dashboard on top. Maybe I'll show you later. But there is a cover on top on the top of the dashboard. You take the cover of, on the top of the dashboard out, and you're gonna see a bolt that holding it here. One on the other side, and of course, before you get to that point, you have to take the steering wheel out, you have to take the, the whole uh, command unit and everything out. Uh, you have to disconnect all the wire harness that connects to the glove, the glove compartment and a million other things that you have to do. It's not a simple job, but just to show you where the heat core is hiding, and maybe I'm gonna have another uh, extension to this video later where I'm gonna get to the heat core, because it's something I wanna show a lot of people, because uh, if you ever have a problem with the heat core, then uh, I want you to know what you're getting into. But uh, here is the heat core. Let's see if I can, you know what? I may have to get you light so you can see. Let me see. Hang one, hang tight one second. I'll get a light and I'll show you. It doesn't, uh, the iPhone 6 doesn't have a great lightning in the dark. So hang on two seconds. Okay, I'm back with light this time. The reason the picture is a little blurry is because uh, the sun is right in front of me, right there. And it's kind of making the whole picture a little bit uh, unclear. But hold on one second. I'll position myself where I can feel comfortable. Now look where it is. You see that? The little radiator inside? This one, yeah. This is where your heat core is. So it's hiding behind the dashboard. Not only behind the dashboard, you got to get all of this part over here out to get to a point that you get to the heat core. So if you ever suspect that you got a leak, a coolant leak from the heat core, just take on consideration that's going to be a very, very, very long, complicated job to fix that. And if you ever have to uh, price a job like that, I think in between taking it out and putting it back in, you're not looking at less than 10 to 12 hours. It's a whole day of exhausting day uh, with a lot of work and a day that you're going to have to um, uh, probably end up with a bucket of uh, bolts that you didn't know where to go back into. Um, but that's as far as the heat core. Now I'm working on this car, parting it out. One more thing that I wanted to uh, show you real quick. If you ever wondered where is the fuel tank on the W220, then here it is. This one is, let's see if we can get a little backward, but this is where the fuel tank is. So if you come, you open the trunk and you remove all the uh, paneling around, you're going to get to the fuel tank. You see it comes to where you fill up the fuel, right there, go to the tank and it goes from somewhere down there, it goes to the bottom of the car to the fuel pump that is located under the car uh, where the filter is, which is, let's see if I can show you, might as well, right, if we're already here. Um, that's it, right? No, that's the muffler, right there. This is the fuel pump and the filter. Okay, so if you ever wondered where is the fuel uh, tank, this is it. Now, if you ever locked yourself outside the car or something, 
and um, you got to go in make sure the locksmith is not drilling through the back seat trying to get to uh, your trunk just make sure you never lock yourself out uh, or lock the keys in the trunk because then you don't have any way to go in thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comment or questions don't hesitate thanks